Hi, everybody. Hi, <laughs> Welcome back Happy to my video. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be doing Bam. something a little bit different now. Okay, I'm going to be doing something different now. <laughs> I'm going to be doing Bam. daily <laughs> vlogs. I'm going to do daily vlogs. Daily. Daily. So, I'm going to do daily vlogs. So we're gonna. You're still gonna be getting the same content that you have been. You're actually going to probably be getting more because I'm going to be doing more in a day. But <laughs> you're gonna get a lot of me looking like this because I'm a stay-at-home mom. I don't always. If I'm not leaving the house, I'm probably not doing my makeup or putting regular clothes on. <laughs> I know I should, but sometimes something else demands my time so i don't always get to the makeup dress stage but i'm gonna do i want to try to do better and we'll just see how, how that you? goes but anyway uh, this is just kind of an experiment i'm going to see how it goes if y'all like these daily vlogs then i'll just and then i'll keep doing them if not then we'll just go back to how it was before. Do you like that idea, James? Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be Monday through Saturday. At least that's the plan right now. So we'll take Sunday off. That's the day that God rested, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm about okay. to go. go. In this video, I'll be, I'm, I'm about to make breakfast. Best. And I think I'm going to be coloring my nails. And we'll just uh, see what yeah. else. Okay. And so if you like this idea, yeah. give it a thumbs, thumbs up. Alright, let's go. Alright, so I'm going to be making my breakfast bake. I will have all this um, in the description. And this is out of my book, Eat Well, Lose Weight. Um, first, um, I am lightly coating a I think it's 16 ounce casserole with nonstick cooking spray and then I'm going to tear bread into bite-sized pieces and I'm going to divide half half of my four slices of wheat bread in between these two prepared dishes. Next, I will get about a half a cup of dice cooked lean ham and I will sprinkle the ham over the bread. Next, I get about a third of a cup of shredded reduced fat cheddar cheese and I will spread that over the bread and ham also. Then I will top the two remaining slices of whole wheat bread and put them on top of the casserole. Or in my case, I use this multi-grain bread. They're the thick sliced. Next, in a medium bowl, combine four eggs, two-thirds of a cup of fat-free milk, and a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. I just sprinkle this black pepper. I didn't measure it. Next, beat with a wire whisk.
Then pour egg mixture evenly over bread and then press lightly with the back of a spoon to thoroughly moisten the bread. Next, cover and chill for 2 to 24 hours. Then, clean up your mess. <laughs> then you will preheat your oven to 325. Bake casseroles for 30 to 35 minutes. What are you eating for breakfast this morning, baby girl? Let's see, we got some oh, apples, mango, and rice cereal. Yummy. Is that good? Morning, good morning, baby girl. You looking at the puppy dog? You looking at Baxter? Oh. Yeah. You say hi, everybody. <laughs> no. There you go, baby girl. There you go. <laughs> Bake your casseroles until you enter a knife into the center and it comes out clean. Let stand for 10 minutes before serving and then enjoy. Okay, I just got out of the shower. That's why I look the way I do. My my hair. That's why my hair is wet, and no makeup on, and I'm wearing my PJs, or should I say, my evening gown? It's a kind of an inside joke. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Mom. But <laughs> um, my grandmother, when she, she and my grandmother put on their PJs, um, they call it evening gowns. And one that time, my dad overheard my mom saying that and he was like are you going out because <laughs> he thought it was like evening gown like a dress or whatever but really it's just P pjs but anyway what i'm doing right now is um i was going to show you my new ring light i actually bought a ring light off of amazon and um when i got it it never really worked right <laughs> And so I just, I, I should have returned it. David said he was going to work on that for me, but it hasn't um, gotten done yet. So, but when I was at Walmart yesterday, I saw where they were selling some ring lights and I was like, hmm, I'm going to try that out. Um, so I ended up getting this one. It's Bauer Smart Photography Series. I actually do not know anything about it. Um, as, as you can see, I've already opened it because I actually used it when I was filling my morning breakfast this morning. But anyway, um, let's read about it. It says it's a 12 inch ring light studio kit with a tripod and phone holder. And has a ball head design tripod, has a wireless remote included, which I have not opened yet. Um, let me make sure I don't lose this ultra wide range and it's an led light and it's great for vlogging video chat social media live streaming and health and beauty so so far i really like it i actually like it a lot more <laughs> well i think the other one would have been great if it worked 
I don't know if I just got like a lemon, a dud or something. Um, so um, I might be out that, that money. Sorry if you can hear James on his recorder in the background. <laughs> Thank you, Grin. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yeah, this was like, I want to say like 36 something, so 37. And the one I bought on Amazon that didn't work was, I can't remember the exact price. So I can go back and look, but it was anywhere from 20 to like $50 more than this one. More than this one. I can't remember exactly what it was, but just let you know. Oh, I have it right here. Let me get it for you. Here it is. Um, oops. So this is the little, little they said the ball joint thing right here. That's where you put your phone. And it has all these little digits here that you can tighten and pull the legs down and all that. So I, so far I really like it. I like it actually a lot more than the other one because it actually works. <laughs> oh, um, what it, I didn't say on it, where is it? And this one actually, this, um, I was on my old one too. It has the on off button. A uh, There's three different light modes. Let's see. And it says 10 levels of brightness. Um, there's like the yellow light. The, I want to say the other one had a blue light. I can't remember if this one was blue light too. And then like the white light. I don't remember. It's not staying on the box. But it did say it. Oh, here it is. White light, natural light, and warm light. That's what it is. Yes. Oh, and then the little remote here, it can, you can um, go higher or lower on the dark or the lightness. So, oops. So, yes. Okay. Now, I decided I wanted to paint my nails like a spooky Halloween. Well, actually, it's not going to be very spooky because I'm not a very spooky person, I'm more of a girly person. I'm not really sure what I want to do with it yet. Um, I did buy, let me, let me fix this real quick. Okay. So at Walmart, okay. yeah, Jane's wanted to be up here with me. At Walmart yesterday, I bought this a clear coat. And you bought that one too. OPI. You this, bought that one, you bought that one I did a too. top coat and then I got this black onyx, it's OPI also. And here's this one. And then I got, I couldn't find an OPI because that's my favorite um, nail polish. Couldn't find an orange one. So I ended up with, I don't know how, to, I don't know how, Essie. <laughs> uh, but I like it because it has some, like some sparkle in it. And it is called Don't Be Spotted, 1640. Yeah. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've done my nails. <laughs> So I couldn't find my good um, file, so it might take a minute before I can get my nails filed down. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, and I also I've I've had these forever. Um, these Kiss French manicure tip guides. So I may use these too. And I'm going to do my toes also. But, okay, let's get started. Okay, yeah, let's get started. Alright, I don't know. I, like, really like it just being orange. Sorry if my cat gets in the camera. Stop knocking my camera over. Um, <laughs> this is real life, right? But um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna practice putting some black on my toes and then I'll see if I like it. And if I do, I'll put it on my on my fingers, but I'm really liking just this. I don't want to mess it up because I'm scared that I, if I put some black on my fingers and uh, I mess it up, 
let me practice on my toes and I'll let you know tomorrow if I actually end up doing it. But I think I'm gonna end the video here. I'm going to heat up some leftovers for dinner from last night and then I may record something small. I'm just my cat's whiskers. I'm so sorry. Um, record something small. But I need to go watch the Dallas Cowboys play some football, even though I hear right now that they are losing. <laughs> oh boy. Um, anyway, if you like this whole vlog of the day in the life of a stay at home mom, if you like it and you want me to keep doing them like this, give it a thumbs up and tell me down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss any of my videos all right until next time bye